Uh, what are they uh, saying to you right now? They're just saying, you know, uh, be the hometown guy, uh, come down, stay home, uh, show your family, you know, have your family see you play. That's really it. How hard are they recruiting? Not, 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 not that hard. Not as hard as other schools. What do you get out of this camp or trying to get out of this camp? Oh, um, just to compete against the best players in the country. My, my main goal is to come out of here and see where I'm at, you know, see how much better I've gotten, see how much better I can get because these are the best of the best. And I want to just, you know, go out there and compete as hard as I can and live with the results. What's the next step with your game? Uh, probably just getting stronger, uh, get more comfortable with the ball, hopefully develop into a two guard and, you know, get more consistent, consistent with my three point shot. Um, you can always control your effort. You can't control, you know, how much you get the ball. You can always control your effort and your energy. That's what I just try and come out and do, especially at these camps, because the ball may not find you sometimes, but you can always, energy is contagious. So if you play hard, you know, obviously, everybody's going to play harder and winning is, is what's most important so I get the wins people will start noticing and stuff like that Where's your um, I'm, I'm wide open right now um, just I'm taking my time with everything listening to what everyone has to say and doing my homework on a bunch of schools but you mentioned Michigan was back on you did, did your family or your dad know Juwan or Howard Isley I saw them on the sideline know either of those guys uh, my dad knows Howard Isley uh, I'm not sure about his relationship with, with Coach Howard but he, he does know um, um, Howard Isley but me and Coach Howard have connected a couple of times we've gotten to know each other a little bit but do you think Coach what do you think of Coach Isley? I like Coach Isley. He's cool. Uh, we, we had um, had a prior relationship, so he's, he's looking. Any new schools that have jumped in? Uh, after the you know the EYBL sessions and stuff like that, a lot of new schools jumped in. Uh, Virginia, UConn, Notre Dame, Kansas, uh, uh, Texas. They've been on me really, really hard. Cal has been on me pretty hard. Florida has uh, been on me hard as well. Virginia Tech. You got any visits signed up? No, not yet. When do you think you're going to be hitting the road? Uh, this time, sometime this summer and, and in the fall. Uh, get all my officials done in the fall. What, what do you think of the new recruiting calendar and everything? You guys are here as high major players. I'm assuming a lot of your buddies like that want to go out and play, they can't right now, right? Yeah, it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of unfortunate for them um, because, you know, it, with the, there's not as many live periods, and that's that's when people get to make their name, especially since they took the live period out of the EYBL and stuff like that. I feel like it's hard for some of the players who are under the radar a little bit to get their name out there, and you could go to a camp and have a couple bad games, and, and that could be it for you. So I think, I, I think it's really I, – I don't like it too much. They were trying to shoot them and hurting players. Yeah, that's probably what it seems like. I think the intentions were good. I just feel like the, I don't know, the execution of it wasn't as positive. You feel like for you, for, for guys at this level, it's fine that it won't affect you guys? Or has it affected you guys too? And, I, feel like, um, I, I feel like it probably won't affect some of the guys who are higher caliber uh, personally, but I feel like it could affect them in a way as well as a, you know, you would commit to a school and a coach not really know your game as well as they should. That could definitely hurt it. You know, they don't get that many opportunities to see you play. But as far as the recruitment goes, I feel like all the high caliber players, recruitment will still be fine. But it's just as far as, you know, the coaches getting to know your game well. I feel like that that kind of that kind of hurts it a little bit. Jerry, how's your game growing up last year? Um, I, I, I think I, I transferred to a new school this year, Blair Academy, and I feel like I've taken my game to a new level. I've been become a more efficient scorer. I feel like I've become a better defender, a more consistent uh, three-point shooter, even though I'm still working on it. I've gotten stronger, but I still got to work on it. So, I mean, I think I've gotten a lot better, but there's still a lot I got to improve on. When you have this many schools, you'll have a, a nationwide recruitment. How then do you trim that down and get it to a list where you're like, okay, these are the guys, and ultimately, like, what are those things that matter the most? It's know? probably just you know go go to a place. Uh, my dad my dad told me to go to a place where you where you want it. Whoever I feel the most comfortable with, and whoever you know wants me the most. I don't want to go somewhere where I, I'm chasing the school. You know what I mean? I want someone that that's really interested in me. But you be following all the FBI stuff and, and the schools that are involved and. How much will that affect maybe your decision? Uh, it, it, I've actually been, it's kind of affected me. A, a couple um, schools that were recruiting me had some changes in staff due to the FBI stuff, so that kind of messed up, uh, a little bit of relationships up. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, if a school, you know, is recruiting me that's been kind of in the mix with the FBI stuff, I'll just be a little extra cautious with them. You know, really do my research and make sure everything's okay.